Hi everyone, welcome. This is Jennifer from Sun Dragon Paper and Lace. And um, thank you again to new subscribers, those of you who have been here since the beginning. I appreciate all your likes and comments. Um, today we're going to try, say try, to make a planner for 2024. I've never done a planner before, but um, my my um, thinking is is that we I, I have a hard time keeping all my tax information together. I have a piece here, I have a receipt here. I I don't keep it all together. And by the time it's tax time, my husband's going, "Okay, where's this?" Jen, where's this? Where's that? And it's like, okay, I got to find everything and gather it all up. So my thought is, is to try to make a planner that is big enough to have um, pockets in for each month to keep my receipts and also document any um, events or or uh, appointments or anything like that whatever whatever it is so i have this um uh cover this um vintage cover um it had uh children's music in it let me see if i can uh but it's beautiful beautiful paper it's nice and creamy um I bet it would take um, paint really, watercolor paint really well um, to make, you know, little fodder or whatever um, swatches like this here. I did this on one of my uh, vintage ledger paper and I just love how watercolor does that type of a thing, that type of a thing right there. All these, so anyway, let's get started. So what I thought I would do is I wanted to, because I am left-handed and what is so hard is writing um, in a book, a journal, um, when there's things in the way. So I thought if I did, even though the cover is um, this way, I thought if I got found a planner and put rings, these rings, and um, you'll see why they're so big. I'm gonna go ahead and put rings on here. And then what I did was gathered these papers. So a lot of these are um, cardstock from graph. Oh, what is that? It's uh, I forgot the cardstock company's name, but I'll make sure to link that in the description below. And this planner um, I got it's a weekly planner I got from Etsy and her name is uh, Catacosmic Design. Uh, you can pull up any type of um, Etsy, just plug in planners or monthly planner, weekly planner, however you want to do it. And I just went in and I separated each month and did it this way. So the plan for me is, is to make a pocket, probably so um, pockets in here for each month and then put a little label on uh, for to show what each month is. And then I did um, a special uh, kind of a cardstock to show the, um, oh, the, the quarters. So every three months is, you know, a quarter. So um, I've got a different type of a cardstock for every three months to separate out the quarters. And I made the separations 
a little bit bigger than the actual planner calendar so that I can go in and decorate and have um, the month sticking out and that way I will know how to do that. So the first thing I want to do, I want to decorate the cover and I thought that this would look really nice. And this is a curtain I found in an estate sale. And it already, because it's got openings here, I thought it would be kind of fun to have, let's see, where's my direction? Uh, yes. I thought it would be fun to maybe glue this part here along here and then wrap this I'm going to cut this out wrap this around because I want this part can you see I want this part covered so I'll wrap this around like this probably cut that out and then I'll probably decorate you know put some lace because I really love how this looks this is just so pretty to me it's just right here i want to cover that with part of this fabric from the inside and out going out and then maybe put some lace on top for the cover the tricky thing is trying to punch the holes so i want to make sure the holes are even all the way through onto the paper and then the back so we'll see how that works out okay so first I want to do is maybe glue this and I don't know I might I might want to reinforce it with um, book tape there's a um, book binding tape just the edges because it just seems so fragile. And then when you're, when you're working in the um, journal or the planner, um, it's gonna have a lot of usage, you know, um, is what I'm guessing, I'm hoping anyway. So I'm gonna get some book binding tape. take just these little pieces off to make it not so um, not so grungy or shabby because this part I do want to have the strength for sure And again, I, mean, I, I have never done this. Um, I just thought I'd come up with this idea. There are so many planners out there. Um, people use burn up, uh, bullet journal, which by the way, if any of you know what a bullet journal is, please let me know because I really don't, I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, I don't know what's the difference between a planner and a bullet journal. Okay. I hope I'm on camera okay. Okay, I guess here's my glasses. I guess I should wear my glasses. All right, let's put these glasses on just so that I can see. I can see, I just can't see well. All right. So let me put this here. I'm wondering if, hold on a second, I gotta let my dog out of my room. 
There you go, Jax. Okay, I told you, you're gonna either stay in or you're gonna stay out. Which is it? Okay, sorry about that. Ah, uh, let's see. Get this going. So how is everyone doing? I hope you're all doing okay. Getting ready for Thanksgiving. Are you going to have dinner out or some, or are you going to be cooking? I like to cook typically, especially if I have time. And I'm kind of actually looking forward to cook this year. There's some years where I don't, I'm not looking forward to it. And um, this year I actually am. And we usually have this tradition every year to um, have the grandkids decorate the tree, the Christmas tree on um, Thanksgiving. I don't know if I should, oh, I think I'll just leave it like this. I was gonna like fold it over onto the front, but I'm gonna have fabric going around the front. But still, it might not be a bad idea. I think it'll be okay. Okay, all right. This I was going to have to maybe put um, some kind of a lace or maybe a pocket. Since this is the back of the cover, maybe that's what I'll do is put a pocket back there. I think that would be fine to put a pocket. I think that's a good idea. All right. Let's see. Got glue on that. Don't want glue on that. All right. So now I think I want to go ahead and put the fabric on. And I'm trying to think of how to do that. First, I want to maybe cut this piece because I don't want too much bulky this on here. I want to cut this, but I want to keep these where the curtain rods go through, or if the curtain rod actually went through this. But I want to keep this because I want to make that into two little pockets for, you know, uh, pencils or pen, something like that. Uh, let's see. I don't think this is very old. If you look at the 2003. But I still thought that the fabric was real pretty. I like the butterflies. Let's see. Will this tear? Uh-oh. Did it tear? Oh no, good. Okay, and did it keep the pocket? No, dang it, didn't keep the pocket. Okay, I'm gonna start the other side because I wanna keep the pocket. But I just don't want this piece. I just don't want this piece. So I'm gonna have to cut it and not rip it. So this is kind of like Awkward doing this, this. And for Christmas, my son, our youngest son, who's in the Navy, he'll be coming, he's stationed in Japan right now, and he'll be coming home. Um, really excited about that. Can't wait. 
I am wanting to go to Japan just to visit and visit him or in Japan. I think that would be lots of fun. I've heard so much about Japan, but um, I am can't wait for him to be home. He has been in the Navy now for, uh, I want to say 15 years. It's definitely going career. Um, don't know how much longer he wants to stay in, but I tell you what, these days, the way the economy is and um, the way the job force is, it might be just good for him to stay in. Of course, he can retire probably in about another seven years, I think, get full retirement. But um, I still think it might be best for him to stay in. You just never know. It's hard to say. Okay, so should I? Okay, I'm going to put make the pockets right here on this side and then make the pockets on the other side too. So I just need to make sure that I've got this here and then I'm gonna cut it here and then I'm gonna have to sew it right, right here to keep the pocket. Actually, I don't want the pocket this long. So I might just sew it in the middle, but keep it, um, Let me think about this. <laughs> um, yeah, I think what I'll do is, well, I wanna trim it. I wanna trim this off and then fold it over to the front. And then this, I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna have to sew this for sure because it's gonna leave an opening. And then I'm just going to cut. I mean, not cut, so right there, so that the pocket isn't so long. I wonder if there's a way just to cut an opening so I can make it a double pocket. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think about that. Maybe so make a pocket there and then cut an opening next to the seam. So then I have a double pocket, two pockets, maybe. But no, yeah, I, I don't know. I'll have to think about that some more. So in the meantime, let's get cutting. Here, let's see if I can make this cut straight. kind of awkward to cut like this without like a standing table or anything and try to stay in camera but we are working we're, we're, we're doing it maybe better if I do this that way I can see where I'm cutting Right? Right? Mm. Or maybe I should just, no, I need to sew it. I was just gonna glue, I was gonna, I was gonna say maybe I should just glue it on and then cut, but then I need to, oh my gosh. Might be a little short. No, because it moved up and I was cutting. Okay, bear with me, bear with me. I don't exactly have this down to a science because like I said, I've never done this before. And this is all experimental. Okay, 
So this is gonna go right here. And then I'm gonna just do just a little bit here. Let me I want to make sure that I do this right or do it where I'm Have you? I don't know if you've ever done this, but have you ever started a project and then realize that you don't like how it's turning out and then it just kind of sits there because you don't really, you aren't thrilled about it anymore. And that's that's basically how I am. If I'm not thrilled about a project anymore because of how it's looking or turning out, um, then I become bored with it, I guess you can say. Oh, I like that. I like that. And then I can put, maybe decorate it with some lace. This, though, is a little concerning here because it's a little short right here. But maybe if I stretch it, it might work. Okay, so I'm going to sew in the middle of here. And then I'm going to sew in the middle of here. And then, um, yeah, not in the middle, but on the end of there. And then I will be, um, actually, no, I'm not going to be right back because what I want to do now is I want to make another one for the back. And then also, so the back, oh, and I got to make sure I got the things right. So this one is going to go this way, pockets up, and then... This one's going to go this way. Um, what happened here? Oh, that's the one that I messed up on. This one is going to go. I want the pockets up too, but I want the pockets on the outside. I want the pockets out here and not on the inside, but that's okay. I just need to cut it and then flip it around. So let's do that. And cut here. Can you tell I'm not used to working with fabric? I'm not a big sewer or anything like that. Um, can you see? Am I in frame? Probably not even in frame. Um, let's go like that. I used to so many, many years ago when the boys were little, and every year I'd sew them pajamas for Christmas. And that was always fun, you know, they knew what to expect and they would give me what kind of a material they wanted. And back then it was Ninja Turtles. And <laughs> it was Ninja Turtles for a while, um, you know, and then they got older, then it was just, you know, um, just generic type of material. But when they were younger, that's what they wanted. And it was lots of fun. I miss them when they were little. Now they're grown men, and now I have grandchildren. And um, that's all good. Let's see. Uh, okay, I wanted this to be on this side, right? Yes this to be like this and then I wanted that to go over and so on I'm gonna cut right here
I'm done with that material. We're going to sew up this material. I just need to make sure I've got it right. It's going to be like this and then over like that. Okay. And I think that's going to be all to get the butterflies right there. And then this is going to be right here. And the butterfly is upside down here. But that's okay. The book is going to be like this, this way. It's going to be like this. So, yeah. Okay. I will be right back. I'm going to sew these up and then um, we'll glue them onto the covers. Okay, so um, <laughs> I kind of did this a little backwards. I um, thought that right here on this one, I thought that this was the other panel. And so I gave more of a pocket than the bottom. I'm not sure I like how this looks. I might have to think of maybe uh, gluing lace on there. Um, something, you know, meshy with mesh on it. You know, something like this. And then make it a pocket in there. And I think that'll look pretty because I'm not, I'm not digging the, how crooked that is. And I'm, I don't want to unstitch it or anything like that. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start gluing before I change my mind. And the tricky part, I'm still trying to think about how I'm going to um, poke holes in these. Um, I have a crocodile. Uh, I'm hoping that it's strong enough to poke holes through the fabric because it's going to be kind of doubled over. And, um, you know, I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to do my three hole puncher on the paper first. That's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to do my three hole punch on the papers. And that way I have a gauge of where the holes are going to go on here. And um, then, and then um, I'll worry about how to poke holes in in this. So, let's get started. Let me make sure that this is all aligned. Okay, we'll go ahead, and I'm just gonna put. So we're gonna put lots of Fabri-Tac glue. I want it to be glued down really, really well. And I'm hoping I have a new setup, um, a video setup, and I haven't quite, um, I don't have the hang of it quite yet. And so I'm trying to play around with how my oh, video is. And I just hope that I am in um, in frame or that I'm not too far away or too close or that you're able to see everything that I'm doing. Sometimes the closer the closer a uh, uh, picture is too close. You're not able to see everything that I do. And then the far away, um, uh, vision of this the picture is too far away so I just want to make sure and please comment below and let me know give me your thoughts I still haven't figured out how to widen my view I can't can't get it don't know why I don't I don't so if you have any recommendations for those of you that are YouTubers and um, 
uh, are out there. If you have any suggestions or or know how to make a wider video screen, um, because that fills up the whole your whole screen, um, please please share that information in the comments below. Because for the life of me, I cannot figure it out. I'm not a tech person. Um, you know, yeah, the techie stuff is a bit of a challenge for me. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Wish me luck, guys. I like the raw edges. Ooh, this doesn't work very well, I guess, because it's double layered. I want to make sure I have the edges really, really glued down because I don't want it to peel up on me. This um, music book I found, of course, you know, in an estate sale. And um, the owner of the home had uh, quite a few music. I mean, they had, uh, she had organs, um, pianos, uh, had, um, oh, what do you call that? What do you call that uh, squeeze box type of music? I forgot. Uh, accordions. Had accordions. It was pretty amazing. Um, there was lots of music books, old ones, new ones. And at the time, I um, was still brand new to, to um, junk journaling that I snatched up so much um, music books, uh, a little too much, to the point where... You know, I'm, I've got too much. I got to piece it out or sell it or do something, do something with them. But the covers are just beautiful. And you know you don't have to, this, I'm using um, Fabri-Tac glue. You don't have to use Fabri-Tac glue. A lot of people use, um, is it PVA glue? PCA glue? It's book glue. Some people use um, uh, craft uh, glitter glue, which uh, I don't know how that is with fabric. It works, it does work pretty well. I just, I'm not, I haven't tried it on fabric yet. I mean, I have for smaller projects like tags or something like that, but not for um, book covers. I just kind of stick to what I know is gonna be um, sturdy and strong. And that's usually Fabri-Tac for fabric with uh, covers and stuff and such. Okay, so this is the inside, and this is oh, I gotta make sure that that is dry before I start playing with it. Uh, I just feel like this is a shame right here. But, you know, I am going to cover it with lace and have a pocket, make a lace pocket. All I wanted really was to have pockets right here so that I can put pencils. Let me try. I can put a pen right in here. And it's going to be like this. 
so then I can be do, 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 do. there you go I'm done taxes are done I wish wish it was that simple all right let me go ahead and do this side these days I rarely handwrite and um, my handwriting has just really gone downhill since you know the electronic age and um, so I've been practicing by writing letters to my husband and um, it's been going really well and I think it's a great idea for those of you who are married or have a boyfriend or a partner or whatever to write a letter to your loved your loved one now and then because it is kind of nice it's an, kind of a dying art um, and um, writing a letter documenting your life with that person is pretty special I think so um, I'm doing more writing. I'm kind of dedicating myself to write a letter to him. Oh, at least once a month, perhaps weekly. I don't know, just whenever I can. But um, I can start out weekly for now. But if I'm being realistic, it'll probably be once a month. I got to do all my other stuff too. I keep, I keep volunteering myself to do different things. I think a um, wetter glue then Fabri-Tac would probably work better than this. Like, um, oh, there's the fabric, oh, what is it called? Tacky glue? Um, tacky glue is, and especially when you water it down, is a little bit, you can thin it down and then it spreads a little bit easier. But, there it is again. I don't know the how well it sticks, the fabric. I'm not sure. If anybody knows that, please let me know. Please comment below. See, like right now, this is taking so long for me to spread this that the top is starting to dry if you can see if i'm staying in frame Right, this is the one that's a little bit short, but I think we're doing it all right. I think it's working out. Yeah, I think this will look much better with the lace over it. edges make sure lots of glue 
Some people say you really don't have to put that much glue. I guess it depends on the glue, right? Like um, the glue, what is that? The uh, crap, the glitter glue. I really don't think you'd have to put that much. It is pretty strong glue. It does fantastic, a fantastic job on with um, paper. Uh, tacky glue is does fairly well too. Um, it does dry quickly. Um, but not as quick as uh, the glitter glue, I don't think. I think you have a little bit more um, leeway. You can move things around if you had to. Not sure I like that. Huh. I might have to... Oh, we'll see when I put the when I put the lace on. I'll have to figure it out. How many of you have planners? Years and years ago, I used to keep a planner. You know, one of those leather binder type of a planner type thing. And then, you know, we have now our phones and our iPad and uh, computers, and um, I really didn't have a need for one. Um, but I see so many people working on a bullet journal or, um, again, whatever that is. I don't know what a bullet, bullet journal is. Um, bullet journal or some kind of journal, I mean, um, planner. And uh, I don't, that's my dog scratching at the door. So give me one minute. What is it, Jackson? What do you want? Come in, come on. You come in or you stay out? Go on, come in. Up oh, there you go. Good boy. Sorry about that. He's a fickle one. He either wants in or he wants out. He can't make up his mind. Yes, I'm talking about you. No, no, no. So anyway, um, I do not like that. Don't like this. I need to do something about that. I'm going to put lace here. Lace here. Um, but I think it's pretty solid. Yeah, I think it'll, it'll work. And then, so what will happen is that it will open this way. And then I've got stuff going in here. But I need to do something about this. I don't like that. I might have to fray it. Let me cut it. Let me see. Let me cut it right now. a little better. Now I need to put more glue down here. All right. Okay, so um, we've got the covers at least the inside of them done and then in the meantime um, I am gonna go ahead and let you go um, so that uh, I can think more about how else I'm gonna poke holes in this that might be a challenge if my crop dial doesn't work so 
we will see. But um, everyone, if I am not on here, I want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Um, I am grateful for this platform to reach out to everyone and share and to craft with everyone and make these beautiful journals together. Um, I'm so happy that um, things are um, the way they are these days with uh, the social media and being able to connect in in this way. Uh, thank you so much for joining my channel. I want to thank you uh, for um, watching, subscribing, commenting, and um, everyone, please have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.